Are you ready for this? Hello, my name is Racheli and if you have never been here before, I am a cancer survivor and I video blogged my entire journey on cancer. In this video I want to talk about, about what to do to help your friend have support and feel like they're not being neglected and what you can do to be a good friend. I want to start off with sharing something that I found when I was first diagnosed when I was trying to tell people how to act around me and my family. So this is called the ring theory. What the ring theory is, it's pretty much how not to say the wrong thing. The middle is the patient. The outer ring is the significant other, parent, sister, etc. The outer thing from that are true friends to the patient. The outer ring from that are the colleagues of the patient. So how it works is you comfort in and you dump out. This is the most basic way to explain how to talk to somebody with cancer. So what happens is from the outside circle in, you can only put in comfort to the circles that are inside. And the smaller circles can dump out anything that they're feeling pretty much. So the first thing that I want you to remember to do, ask before you visit. You never know what kind of state the person is in, if they want to see people, and of course they love you and they want you to visit, but being sick is super unpredictable. So you should always make sure to ask before you visit. You should also totally call and send notes. Even if I didn't have the chance to respond or I was too tired to respond or answer the phone, just knowing that people are thinking about me and wanting to send me things really, 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 really meant a lot to me. So make sure to call and send notes or cards it really means a lot to your friend another thing that you can do is offer to do tasks or errands one of the biggest questions I got was please let me know if there is anything I can do or is there anything I can do for you that's great and I know that it comes from a good place but it only leaves the person to say there's nothing you can do I'm good thank you so much for asking that means a lot because it's First of all, chemo brain is real and we can't think on the spot of things that we need to get done. But the way that you can help is by telling them specific things that you're gonna do that will help them. Like saying, I'm gonna come by and drop off dinner. I'm gonna come by and clean your house for you. Picking up groceries, setting up a time for all of their friends to come and visit. There's so many little specific things that you can do to help a cancer friend. And if you want me to make a whole entire video of a list of specific things that you can do that would really help a cancer patient, comment that in the question, th I mean in the, comment that down below and I will totally make a video about that. Another thing that you can do, which was one of my favorite things while going through treatment was getting care packages and things in the mail. And it made me feel loved and it always gave me something to look forward to. Another thing that you can do is take cues from your friend. People can be private and not want to talk about something and then sometimes people can be super open. Take cues and learn from your friend and you know, bounce off of their energy. Let your friend know that you care. Check in on them. Keep your promises. If you say you're gonna be somewhere, really do your best to not forget. You should still include your friend in plans and let them be the one to tell you if it's too much to handle. Try to make your friend feel as normal as possible, as if their life isn't on the line and completely changed and gone just down this road that they never thought it would go down. Just expect your friend to have good days and bad days, mentally and physically. Expect even when they're supposed to be having their good days from chemo that maybe they're having a rough emotional day and they need to step back. Another thing that you should totally do is do research on your friend's cancer. Educate yourself and be able to hold a conversation and know the kind of treatment that your friend is going through. That will give you so many more opportunities to be there for your friend and really understand what they're going through. Watch my vlogs. You'll really know what it's like to be a cancer patient. Try to understand the disease the best that you can. If you do the research, it'll show how much you care. The last thing I wanna say to you as a friend of somebody who has cancer, always just try to be, I mean, this topic really makes me wanna cry because one of the main things that happens in these situations is you really realize who your true quote unquote friends are, who is meant to be in your life that you, you really sometimes like would never have expected. Be the best friend that you can be and it'll all fall into place. And remember that you can only do so much. I think that I've 
giving you a really basic list of things, the easiest things that you can do to just make your friend feel better. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you want a video on the don'ts, give this video a thumbs up and I'll make sure to make one of those. I just wanted to start this little series off with some positivity and things to help you be a better friend. I believe in you, that you can be a good friend. Remember, everything's gonna be okay. My power is